someone who's with their children a lot. Devoting the time that you don't have. Ability to take everything that you've learned and instill it in another little human being. They're they understand the child's child needs. They know when to discipline, they know when to be your friend. Most people, I would say, do the best they can with what they have. The parents are, you know, understanding each kid as an individual, you know, and, uh, and helping them on this path, you know, wherever that may be. Good parents, you see, everybody loves his children and they do everything for their children. What makes you a good parent or not is number one, get that message out to the children. That's number one. Because if they just hear your criticism and they don't know your love, oh, well, you say, they know I love them. What, what else am I doing it for? Yeah. They just, they grit their teeth when, they, when they're getting that criticism, yeah? So you've got to remind them and you've got to show them that you love them. You give them a hug. You've give you got to express and show them your love. That's number one. Like giving them enough freedom but restricting them at the same time. The parent who can look back on their life and realize what they've done and what they've learned and that their child too will learn and live. Always, you know, helping them out when they're down, giving them advice. One who knows how to discipline with love. Number two is you've got to respect them as human beings. But that's number two. You love them, they'll go along with you. But if you really respect them as human beings, you, you want to listen to them. You take them out for a walk and just listen. Don't criticize, don't talk, don't advise. Listen to them, try to understand them then you bought their hearts. Now when they come back and they had a fight with a teacher, you know, and they got punished. So the first thing is listen to them, feel them. They are miserable. They're feeling terrible. You say, oh, that's terrible. Oh, really? I, oh, you must feel awful. And you were embarrassed in front of the whole class. And, gee, that, that, I, I feel for you. Then you can say, so tell me, what did you do wrong? <laughs> Yeah. And then they'll go confess. Yeah, I did throw a spitball and I did pull the guy's hair and I, I kicked the other guy. <laughs> you know? And they'll know they was wrong. But if, if you listen to them and they feel that they got a hearing from you, then they want truth, they want meaning. They, they'll go along and you're born. You're born. If they know you really care about them.